two years ago in November. We took a trip from Tokyo to Hakone. We joined the many people who visit this Japanese onsen town to soak up the benefits and enjoy the nature of the region. We spent the night in a ryokan, experienced a private onsen, tried amazing traditional Japanese food made from fresh seasonal ingredients, and witnessed the true autumn leaf color of Japan. This is part two of our Hakone trip. It's really, really pretty. So hopefully this should open the door now. Yep. just lit the entire thing. I've never ever tried food like this before. Onsen is a great option for somebody who might feel a little bit self-conscious about using a public onsen or a sento and it's their first time experiencing this way of Japanese bathing but they still want the benefits of all that the onsen water has to offer. So a private onsen might be a good option for you. So Matsuzukaya Honten do offer private onsen rooms and they are a bit more expensive but honestly I think it's worth it because you're by yourself. out and we're trying to figure out our route for the day. Everybody we spoke to in the hotel says that the weather is not ideal for seeing Mount Fuji but I think that's okay we're still gonna go to Lake Ashi and see all the sights. Well, we had an amazing stay. I feel so so relaxed. I wish that it was for more than one night just to fully take advantage of the onsen and the amazing food because the food oh my god the food was incredible. Best food I have ever eaten in my entire life and I actually think it's even better when it's really really cold outside because the onsen is really hot and all the rooms have either a fire or like a heater in them and there's also like a big fire behind me um, that gets lit up during night time and it's so cozy and so warm so I might come back here when it gets really really cold. just got the bus to Lake Ashinoko. It's very very foggy today so we definitely won't be able to see Mount Fuji but we are thinking we might go on the boat cruise just to see the nature. We just walked up to the lake and you can see the Hakone Shrine. It's a lot smaller than it looks in pictures but it's still really pretty and there's not a lot of tourists here. Also because we came on a Monday we specifically wanted to come on a weekday because we thought it might be less touristy and more relaxing and it definitely definitely is. And there it is in the distance the Hakone Shrine. That is a Shinto shrine. The pirate ships as well as many bus services and station services are covered by the Hakone Free Pass. It's around 5,000 yen each and if you want to take the romance car, you also have to pay an express charge on top. If you're here for more than one day, I recommend getting the Free Pass. Okay, so we just tried to buy the tickets for the pirate ship um, where I just showed you and there was a queue of people in front of us and all of them were like pirate ship, pirate ship, so we're like, okay, this is the place for a pirate ship. Just to let you know, this is not the place for the pirate ship, this is just for the uh, Lake Ashi boat cruise, so do not go here, go 200 meters to the right 
as you walk out um, and there will be the pirate ship. That poor lady must be so sick of people asking her about the pirate ship because we saw lots of people talking about the pirate ship in front of us um, and then we walked up and we were like, pirate ship? And she was like, huh? <laughs> so that's, that's not the place to get the pirate ship tickets. I think the pirate ship tickets are over there, behind me. I'll film it. So I think this might be the right building now. So you buy the tickets here. Oh my goodness, look at the ship. It's so grand. <laughs> I think this one's Vasa. Um, we actually got first class tickets. We are getting off at Togendai Ko Pier and we also opted to have the first class cabin and that is 500 yen um, extra. So one ticket for what we're doing now is 1,500 yen. Okay, one of the best things about being in the first class cabin is that there are not that many people here. Um, economy class is completely packed. And also, we can go really, really high up in the boat so you see a lot. Um, I'm going to try and film the outside for you guys so you can see the views because they're beautiful. And if you're wondering, you can get snacks and drinks on um, the boat as well. We thought that you might not be able to, so we've got some milk, royal milk tea, but there is like a bar here. So if you get hungry, you can definitely have a drink and a snack. Ashi, um, a woman speaks over the megaphone and tells you some information about the sites that you're seeing. So she will, for example, say you can see the Kone Shrine to your right or something else on the left. So it's almost like a guided tour. If you want to get a really, really good photo of the Hakone Shrine Tori, this is a way to skip the queue of people. You have to be quick though because the boat moves past it pretty fast. But if you're here on the top deck, the view is really, really good and you can probably get an amazing photo of it in the water. So I'm really happy about that. I got a really nice picture. And the scenery is incredible. You can see so much of the views from here. This is just insane. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you're into nature or geography. higher if you want to. Like really, really high. <laughs> it's really starting to rain. If you are planning to go outside onto the deck around November, keep in mind it might start to rain, bring an umbrella and dress warm because it's quite chilly. I'm literally the only person on this deck and I feel like I'm in one piece. I was feeling sleepy earlier, but now I feel like so awake. I'm so impressed right now. Ah, the air is so freaking clean here. Wait, wait, I've just seen this side. It is so green. I'm legit gonna cry. You cry at hospitality. I cry at natural wonders of the world. So I'm gonna go to my deck and drink some hot royal milk tea and relax, I think. I don't want to go home, but we can't stay here forever. <laughs> Although I probably could live here. It is really, really beautiful.
this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you've been watching my videos for a while but you haven't yet subscribed, I really hope that you can subscribe and like this video as that helps me out a lot. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you can check out my other videos. My channel focuses on travel, Japanese culture, history and of course food, living in Japan and everyday lifestyle vlogs. So I hope that you can stick around. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Yeah.